Hello to my 33 fantastic subscribers and everyone else who is just discovering me. Today I'm finally reviewing the Peak Designs Everyday Messenger Bag. Fantastic. This bag has gained a huge amount of popularity and positive feedback from those within the Peak Design circle. I, however, did not know of Peak Design when I found out about this bag a few months ago before it was even released. In my research, I noticed that almost everyone who reviewed the bag was either friends of the business or a Peak Design fanboy, and of course, all the reviews were overwhelmingly positive, and that irked me a bit. So much so that the tipping point for me deciding to purchase this bag was my desire to create a critical review on it from a neutral, unbiased position. So I've spent the past month or so taking it on hikes, portrait sessions, events, uh, indoor shoots, etc., uh, etc., etc., et uh, to really see what this bag can do, and I really think I've experienced more than enough to, uh, with this bag to give a very well informed review from the perspective of a professional photographer. If you uh, are one who appreciates context, by the way, uh, I implore you to check out my other two videos, one where I go over the bag I've been using and working with for the past two and a half years, and the second where I unbox the Everyday Messenger bag, uh, go over my initial impressions, and attempt to switch all my gear from my old bag to the new one, the Everyday Messenger. That one is uh, pretty fun to watch. Lastly, I want to emphasize that I am a new YouTuber, and because of my lack of popularity, I can pretty much promise that I can respond to any of your questions promptly. So, if I miss anything, please feel free to ask in the comments below, and of course, if you like what you see, uh, your like and subscription means everything to me. Absolutely everything. Alright, let's get into it. Alright. First off, let's talk about design. This thing is absolutely gorgeous in every aspect. I was a little nervous when I first decided to purchase the Heritage Tank compared to the Charcoal Gray. The Charcoal Gray seems, seems to be that kind of standard that everyone's gonna like, that's gonna look good with everything and everyone. Um, however, I wanted to stand out a little bit, and I really like the kind of natural look that the brown has. I don't think they could have done better with the color. I think I was really happy with the color. Most importantly, what I loved about it are these little blue touches you see everywhere. Love it. Love the little blue touches. Yeah, overall, this this thing is just it's it's beautiful. It's 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 unique and it's just hipster as fuck. Um, and the inside, the interior design, you'll see it has this kind of beige look again with these blue accents right here which um, I love the blue accents. At first I didn't quite like the color because it has a very odd greenish tint to it which I don't I don't understand why they would do that. I think it would have perfect, been perfect if it just had a gray or if the whole thing was blue inside. Oh my gosh, It was if it was all blue inside, oh god. Okay, next up I really wanted to talk about this strap. This strap is something I've never seen on any of the camera bag. It's very versatile. There's a lot you can do with it. And um, well, as you can see, it's the, you know, it's the belt material. Um, and it has these um, quick release um, Buckles, quick release, I'm sorry, not quick release, buckles, quick adjustable, what the fuck you call them? Quick adjustable adjusters. It's, it's pretty common to have some sort of quick adjusting mechanism. This one though is actually probably one of the best ones I've worked with in my career. Um, so I, I've really, I really enjoy it. And then the way it looks is beautiful. Even though it does have this kind of metallic look, it's clearly some sort of hardened plastic. At least it feels like it, um, but it has these blue accents, which I love. The film material is actually pretty darn soft, and um, it's, it's not rough at all. It slides well when you want it to slide, and you can go ahead, it has this texture grip at the top right here, so you can go ahead and flip it over, so that's on the bottom of your shoulder, so that it does not slide very much, and it does work as um, as described when they, when they talk about that. Um, also, they've, it seems like they really made this to work with everyone. Um, when I first got this bag, the strap was on it as if it was made for someone to, who hangs their bag, their messenger bag, on their um, left shoulder. I don't do that. I always hang it on my right shoulder. Um, and I was really nervous when I found that out until I looked at it and tried to unlace it and reverse it and I ended up doing just that. Even though it looks like it's not something you can really do, I don't believe they've ever marketed that you can reverse it. Um, but it, it, apparently, apparently you can reverse it, which is pretty cool. And they've made it so that there's a lot of, you'll see right here, 
um, with these things right here. It's uh, you can basically shorten it and um, extend it by a lot. Um, I mean, you can go as far as doing it all the way up here over the padded strap. It's not quite easy for this one, but you can do it if you want to. And so, I mean, it could fit well tightly on the smallest person and on the biggest person, which I've never seen such flexibility on a camera bag strap. So that's really cool. Other thing is that these right here, um, don't definitely do not tangle as much as my other bags I've used before. Um, usually they'll kind of bunch up and just do this. Not to say that it doesn't happen with this bag, it does, but not nearly as often. And when it does happen, it's actually a lot easier to fix than most. And I think it's mostly having to do with the material here, the belt material. It um, doesn't really stick or cling to anything. It's very soft and silky. So because of how versatile and how flexible this thing is, how it can get long or short, you can carry it almost any way that you want to on your body. Uh, you can carry it really tight up high on your back, um, or you can carry it pretty darn low no matter your height, um, and that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, another thing is that the stabilizing straps, pull these out right here, which are stuck in right into here. I try to pull these out, as you'll notice, they're not the easiest to remove. And they're so much harder to put back in. All right, so yeah, with the stabilizer straps, it's just your typical bam right there. It's very easy to adjust, just like that. Put that bad boy right there. Looks pretty good. Da, 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 da. And it works pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this bad boy. Pretty slick, bruh. Pretty and slick. Um, another thing is that this, if I was wearing this on my left shoulder, um, I would be able to hook it up right here so I have a, a diagonal cross. For some reason, despite this camera bag strap, the strap itself being reversible, it's not quite reversible with this mechanism. Um, you're kind of sacrificing the use of a cross strap. Okay, I'm gonna try to shove these back in here. Whew. Try doing this with it strapped to your back. This strap right here is actually pretty nice. It has a kind of a metal bar on the base right here in line with a kind of sew it into the material right here so that um, when you go ahead and lift it, it doesn't bow and it keeps it foreign. It doesn't compromise its form. Um, and um, it, it's pretty good. I've noticed that even if I have this unbuckled, let's just say if it's just open and it's not buckled for any reason, it still lifts pretty well. One of the problems I have with this bag, the material is a very rough, scratchy material. Um, not to the skin, but it's always catching to the back of my shirt. A lot of times I have a really hard time with my shirt being pulled and twisted or riding up for the reason that this is just keep grabbing onto it. And then the first, um, first few weeks of use with this bag, I kept having a ton of my um, shirt lint stuck to it. And if you look right here, you even see, because I wear a blue shirt when I do photography jobs, all of that's already wearing off right here. Yeah, I hope you're able to see that. You see a bit of blue on this side. I've only been using this for a month. So, um, yeah. Another thing is that while it has a hard flat bottom or a semi hard fl flat bottom, <laughs> um, it doesn't always stand too well. Uh, most of the time, it tends to fall over. Um, this is a very flat surface and I do not have a full load in here right now So that's probably the reason why it's doing well, but if I put it on the carpet hardly ever stands on the carpet I put it in the grass never stands on grass um, It's it's not The best because of standing so I always end up having to lean it on something when I'm out there on the field Alrighty, let's go ahead and talk about this mag latch is what they call it. It's basically um, magnetic clip strap or clip latch thing well you know mag latches that's just a very appropriate name it's magnetic latch that's all it really is um, basically the way it works you have these uh, little bars right here um, you have your clip right here that has a magnet and you can go ahead and stretch that bad boy clips right there in order to when it when it, when it uh, 
properly clips itself, which it doesn't always do. If it's latched correctly, you shouldn't be able to just pull down. Um, you have to pull out and then down, just like that bad boy right there. I thought it was gonna be quite gimmicky, but I've learned to really appreciate it. Um, the only thing that I did wish about it, I kind of wish there was more bars right here. I wish there was a little less room. Maybe they just kind of add one more bar in between these two so that there's five instead of four and that would have really helped with, you know, making sure my load is always closed tight. Another great thing is this tripod sleeve thingy you see right here. Um, the way it works is you go ahead and put your tripod leg in there and then um, just one of them and then it'll just kind of lay on top and it's pretty cool. You open it up, it's perfectly fine, doesn't get in the way. Pretty dope. That's how I've actually really liked that. It even comes with this cool little um, wristband that you can wear as a fashion accessory. Oh, look at me, I'm back in middle school. Or you can throw that bad boy over the legs to make sure that they don't open by accident when you're using your bag. All right, so let's get into the functionality of this bad boy. Look at all its pockets and whoopity wop wop, and whoopity wop nuts. Um, we got this. Cool. Uh, first off, you can see my Capture Pro clip right here that I purchased, uh, that came in the bundle that I purchased the bag in. Um, that clips pretty nicely onto this little um, strap on the side that was made specifically for the Capture uh, camera clip. It also has it on the opposite side, so um, you know, looks pretty good and it stays there. I do have to tight that, tighten that thing pretty, pretty, pretty well before it actually stays still, um, and which is. Um, odd. I, I would expect it wouldn't take much, but it, it does take a lot of tightening on the clip if you have one. Uh, moving on to some kind of useless pockets right here. I never quite use these. I just realized I have cards in here. Did not know. I guess I put them in there thinking I would use this pocket. Never really did. Same thing on this side. They're kind of really tough to get into. Um, they show in their their uh, promo that some people putting their phone in there. And well, let's see how that looks. Let's see how it looks putting my phone in here. Go ahead and right here. I have an LG G2. Hell no, I would not do that. I would not. Just put it in your pocket. Just put it in your pocket. It's so, pop it up here, um, on the, the tripod leg slot thing, you have a nice little strap right here uh, for your cool thingies. I just keep some flat, um, flexible things. So I got cloths in here, I got a, the, uh, uh, my um, rain cover for my camera, just in case. Um, that way I can't really put anything hard in there or else it just won't really work too well with the tripod leg seeing as it's going to go ahead and round a bit like that and bow and I don't want to actually break anything or you know make it any tougher for my tripod leg. So we also have this quick opening slot right here um, for I guess they say they say it's quick access when you have a strap to you. It does not open very well at all. I kind of find this zipper quite useless, don't really use it for that reason. Uh, go ahead, open this bad boy up again. Uh, looking inside the interior, pretty spacious. I was pretty, I was really surprised when I found out that the uh, bag is a lot taller. It seems, it, it has a lot more um, vertical room in here that you would expect. Um, I'd say that it's horizontal room or it's width is about as you would expect with a normal camera mat with a normal large camera mat, uh, messenger bag, um, but its its height is it's pretty good and it's a lot better than I expected, which I really enjoy. So if you have no problem stacking your equipment, you're going to really enjoy that. Um, then it has the kind of main uh, accessory pockets right here. Go ahead and take a look. I want to make sure it looks okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So you'll go ahead and see everything's just kind of an elastic mesh uh, with matching interior in here. Uh, it has these cool little uh, color threads right here and that's used in case you want to go ahead, all right, uh, good batteries on the green side, use batteries on the red side. And then right here, of course, you have your uh, empty cards on this side, used cards on this side, and I do use it that way. I used to have my own system with my own bag, uh, my previous bag, which you would see in my other uh, video, and 
I don't know, I still am having a hard time figuring out which I like better. Um, this system or the system I used before. All right, so there is a lot of talk about how awesome these advisors are gonna be. And to be honest, I kind of fell for the hype about how excited I was for these because they had these origami shapes. You can flex them and stuff like that. You, can, you know, you can do origami. You can make um, that, that, that cool shift that Django Fett was writing in an episode two. And drops those bombs. But it doesn't do a really good job at actually dividing other than just being and working as a normal divider. There was way too much hype for this. These things suck. I'll be honest with you, I hate these things. I was super disappointed with this. I had so many expectations for this bad boy. And he's like, oh sweet, I can fit so much more now. I was like, no. That doesn't work that way. It is. It's. It's not as flexible as you would think. Um, it doesn't do half the things that it said it could possibly do for you in there. And one of the the, the things that I absolutely hate that they consciously did. Like, they they can't really get short. You know, they can't get. They can only get to maybe like two thirds or three fourths of their full size. That's the shortest they can really get. Um, so really you just have, all they give you is three large dividers and that's it. That's all you do. That's all you're able to do work with. Just three large dividers. Other bags I have like three large dividers, um, two mediums and two smalls or something like that. So I can really customize the crap on the inside. And then of course the whole interior would be, you know, the soft Velcro so I can attach anywhere. Nope, you get three large dividers, that's it, and the Velcro inside here is super limited. There is, let me go ahead if I can, right there, about that much, I'd say that's about about two, two to three inches, two and a half to three inches of actual usable Velcro space. Um, and the, that's, that's about it, and then the bottom's Velcroed. So you don't really have there's just really not that much flexibility inside in terms of how you want to go ahead and pack your stuff. You're just limited to basically what I'm doing. And I guarantee you that most people, if they use all of their, their dividers, all three of their dividers, it's just gonna look like what I have here. There is, it's all gonna look the same. There's really not much you can do with these. And it's very unfortunate because I was really excited about the incredible versatility and flexibility that they advertise when promoting this bag. Um, so that it was a huge disappointment. And you'll see my, uh, my uh, what's it called? Uh, my unboxing, the speed through of how I'm trying to pack my equipment into this bag and just see how incredibly frustrated I get with it. Another thing which has been very bothersome to me, which I am having a really hard time coping with, is its inability to pack um, larger three-dimensional hard items. Um, it seems that every pouch, every pocket in here, and you know, excluding the main interior, was made to only pack um, flat, flexible, or very small items. I have some um, some transceivers that are about this big, about that thick. Um, that I, I can't comfortably fit anywhere because they're just a tad bit too bulky, even though I want to consider them very large at all. They're smaller than pocket wizards, if you're familiar. Um, and like if you try to pack pocket wizards in here, if you have like a full load inside the interior where you can't put it in there, don't try putting them in any of the pockets because there's no pockets that's going to fit them uh, adequately enough so that it doesn't seem like they're just going to get smashed. Uh, by just like a quick bump because this this pouch right here as you can see is it's not has this kind of a um, Harder hard almost cardboard thick thick board paper inside um, So it doesn't it's not like a just a fabricate pouch where you can just keep packing it It'll just keep um, you know convexing and stuff like that. It's not like that. It's not it doesn't seem like it's meant to do that um, and then these pockets on the side, as I already showed you earlier, are pretty much useless. Um, another thing, which I was really annoyed about, I was super excited when I found out that this thing had a laptop slot, not for, not just a tablet slot, like most messenger bags, but it has a laptop slot for up to a 15 inch laptop, which is about a normal size laptop, and they say, 15 inch laptop. If you go on the website and look at the specs, it says 15 max laptop size, 15 inches by 10 inches by two inches. Apparently it could fit that. Does not. Clearly it was marketed for 
MacBook Pros. Apparently, even though I don't know how those would fit because mine's about the same size of a MacBook Pro and it does not fit well. So I have right here my Dell Inspirion um, 7000 series, Inspirion 15 7000 series laptop. Um, and it's sides right here, it's um, largest width or length, or whatever you wanna call it, is less than 15 inches. So I have this thing wide open, as wide as it can possibly get it. Let's try to put this thing in here. I'll try to do it without scratching. Okay, see, I cannot do it without scratching the zipper. So I'm nervous about, uh, I'm super nervous about getting it out without scratching it. Ooh. Okay, see, all right, so technically, Technically, it'll get in there, but don't expect to zip it and don't expect to do so without scratching your laptop. If you have a 15, oh, I probably just scratched it right now. If you have a 15 inch laptop, of course. Um, 13 inches, I'm sure will fit fine, but I just really bothered me that they marketed that it would fit that size and I really had to force it in. And honestly, it fit a lot better now than it did when I first had it. And I imagine it's just because it's been worn and broken into, but there's, it's there's no way this is ever going to comfortably fit in there without getting scratched up by the zipper right here So I just kind of jotted some notes down here on my overall Personal use and functionality what I like about it and my kind of my conclusion. So here's my conclusion um, It is comfortable um, It's comfortable to use and I it's able to stay where I want it to stay and that has a lot to do with its texture I believe and just uh, how I'm able to keep it real tight around my body and also you know with the stability straps despite not being able to hook it up um, as a cross strap um, Due to the fact that I had to reverse this strap to fit the way it should on a um, right shoulder user um, but with that said, it, it's comfortable, stays where it needs to be, um, and even on long trips, it would it's pretty comfortable as long as you have like a light to medium load. The zippers are nice and smooth. Um, everything's nice and weather tight, which is pretty darn good. I like that. Um, go ahead and pour some water on it, and it will just roll right off. Not that it's completely water repellent, but it won't just soak through most of the time. It fits a lot of gear in here, which is great. I have, I have uh, my 60, which you're looking through right now. The 15 to 30 huge lens that's strapped on right there. I have my 70 to 200. I got my 24 to 70. I have the 51.4. I have um, the just a young new flash, and I also have my 85 millimeter right here and this is all um, this is I still have a huge lens that's right there and then my camera and it, it all fits in there it's pretty good and despite it's I believe it's um I believe in total it's about 25 pounds um, and it fits comfortably so this is a large load for a messenger bag and this is usually you'll find this amount in one of those rolly cards things those really ones or something like that or one of those big you know backpacks or something like that um, and then it doesn't include the other random batteries that I have and stuff that I have in here so um, I, I it does definitely does what I want to do um, does it do it well um, I think so I think it does it well there's just a lot of things that when I bought it I was really looking forward to but it, it ended up disappointing me. I, I bought it. One of the reasons why I really wanted were these strap, were these dividers right here. I thought I could do a lot more with with them. I was really disappointed that it only came with three, and then they turned out not to be very versatile. They were just kind of just. I really wish they had just given me normal dividers of different sizes. I really would have preferred that. Unfortunately, the only thing that I could say about them and I love about them. Uh, these dividers are that they are very thin compared to normal dividers. Usually most dividers are pretty thick, um, but these are pretty thin. I, I really appreciate that. And that just adds to its ability to fit more. And then of course there is the laptop thing that was really annoying. I would kind of think about it, I'm probably not going to be bringing my laptop in the field. It's just nice to know that I could have if I wanted to. Fortunately, I cannot.
Overall though, it's a good bag. It does what I wanted to do, what I needed to do, more like, um, and it does that well. What I want to do doesn't always do too well. It's, they take such bold steps at adding completely different things into the bag that you don't normally see in camera messenger bags that there's a lot of, there's a good, there's that risk that someone might hate something or someone might love that same thing. Um, personally, I've, I've had a lot of frustrations that I've just been working through and I've learned to really enjoy this bag. Do I love it? I'm still trying to figure that out. I've liked it more and more as I use it, but I'm not sure if I could say that I love it yet. Um, again, to say that, is it worth $250? I think so. I think it's worth $250. Um, it's a good bag. It's not the, the top of the line, everything's perfect bag. I guess that's the thing that I kind of had in mind that I was gonna, cause I got into the hype, I was thinking it's like, it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be the best bag that I was gonna, ever gonna have. Ended up not being that. I think I just kind of got shut down. Um, but the material they use, good quality stuff. I, it's materially used. The zippers are perfect. I have every comp. I have complete confidence that everything's going to stay dry if I'm out in the rain. Um, and everything that nothing's failed on me. And everything just. I don't, I'm not afraid that it's going to break down or anything's going to break. I, everything looks and feels well built. And I think that's where a lot of the money's going. That and how awesome it looks. So that's about it, guys. Um, I hope you like my bag review. I know for some of you it took a long time, and I apologize. Uh, I hope it's worth the wait. It, I, I, you know, I guess I was just busier than I expected. I apologize. Um, but there's gonna be a lot more videos soon. Um, I like I said, I got this in a bundle uh, with the camera slide strap or slide strap peak by peak design, whatever. Um, I also have the. Uh, um, you know the capture pro thing right there, which is pretty good and the of course the the matching Field pouch or or I like to call the field fanny because it's funner and it's a, it's a Alliteration field fanny two f's. It's, it's fun to say I have a lot of fun saying it. Thank you again for watching guys I really appreciate it if you want to be part of my growing subscribers my super growing subscribers I got 30 of them. Can you believe that? Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna post a lot more Hit that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. I know it was pretty long, I apologize, but I wanna give you a super in-depth, detailed review, and I hope you that's what you believe you got. Anyway, if you like it, hit that like button, please. Thank you, I really appreciate it. And hit, hit subscribe, you know, be a fan. Like, watch me, do my thing, and we can, we can be friends together. Do you like songs? What's your favorite kind of song? Do you like pizza? What's up? What's your name? Do you like techno? I like techno. Do you like...